My name is Carol Breganolo and I represent the Archdiocese of Toronto and I am honoured and privileged to be the project manager for the restoration of St. Francis of Assisi. We have worked on the project now for a couple of years and the first stage of the project was to renovate the rectory for Father Jimmy and Father Conrad and we've now moved to a phase of the project where we are restoring the parish. And the first phase of our restoration is to restore the building envelope. And today, Sunday, April the 30th, we are working very closely with the parish family on a fundraising event where everyone is coming in to sign the slates, it, either donated in memory to a loved one who has departed or for the intentions of someone that they're thinking of. These pieces of slate are being signed by each parishioner who have donated towards the roof of St. Francis of Assisi and are going to be placed on the roof in the next six to eight weeks. So we are very, very, very grateful to our parish family and those who traveled from outside of our parish family to come and join us today on Sunday, April the 30th. the architect for the uh, St. Francis of Assisi Master Plan for Restoration and uh, I'm here on site in the parish hall in the basement for the slate signing uh, event. Um, this is the first event um, that's going to help raise money for the uh, conservation work we're doing. Um, the master plan is to uh, restore the entire um, St. Francis of Assisi church and we start by um, protecting the exterior of the building and today's event is a celebration of the slate roofing that's going to be um, installed uh, on the roof and what we have um, initiated is a fundraising event where members of the parish can purchase a slate and in so doing um, can sign their name in a, co uh, a commemorative statement on the back of the slate that actually will be installed on the roof. The slate will have the signatures facing down. They won't be seen, but what they will be is in place on the roof of the church for at least the next hundred years. Um, it's a rather exciting um, a, a spiritual event if uh, you consider that uh, your name and your wish will reside uh, above the, um, the finished ceiling of the nave uh, is pretty spectacular. I'd like to say thank you to the uh, parish of uh, St. Francis for participating in this event today and helping raise funds for the work we're hoping to implement over the next five years. We're in a wonderful initiative here at uh, St. Francis of Assisi Church. Um, signing uh, slates uh, that will be going on uh, on the roof and uh, supposedly they will last for a hundred years. I of course won't be here when they do the next roof but um, you know the people will uh, that uh, remove the slates will will see that there were others here that were generous enough that they wanted to, something special uh, to happen and uh, and and uh, you know I'm very thankful that uh, people come out and um, and 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 understand that uh, giving back uh, to uh, to you know to the church and and to society in general is very important. So um, I want to thank uh, you know the 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 parish for the opportunity to be able to do this uh, this job for them. It's an important job and it's a church. It has a long history for a lot of people and I'm uh, very proud to be part of it and I'm very proud to know Father Jimmy and Conrad who do a wonderful job for this parish. Uh, thank you. We're very grateful today to have this opportunity to sign these slates to, to mark a part of our parish history. Now we know these slates are going to be on our roof for roughly the next hundred years. And so in a way, this will be a message to the future. Our parishioners are able to write messages of love, messages of remembrance, to show who they are today. And that in the future, people who look at these slates, people who when, when they get taken down, and you know, that'll happen, they'll know that we were here. They'll know that this parish cared enough to remember its people, to put up these slates. This is a wonderful effort, I think, and I think I'm very proud of our people for having come out to do this. And 
thank you to all of you. Thank you, of course, to to Butcon, to um, Clifford, to Plus VG Architects, to Vienna Roofing. The generosity and the great work has, is well appreciated and a great service to the community as well. It was leaving a piece of, of uh, for me, it feels like I'm leaving a piece of our family with the church. And since we're part of it, I want to make sure that we always are. So, um, so yeah, that's why it's important to me. That's why I took the time to do it. But, anyways. Welcome to St. Francis of Assisi on this day when we are signing and dedicating the tiles that are going to go up on our roof in a few days' time. It was an opportunity for our families here and the different members of the congregation to memorialize their names, their, their loved ones, uh, living and deceased, and uh, to make them even more a part of the uh, parish. Of course, the shingles go up on the roof and they stay there throughout good weather and bad, much like our parishioners who are living stones with whom we uh, build our own parish community. So it's a, a double whammy type thing. It allows them to participate in a tangible way, but it also reminds them that they are part of what constitutes St. Francis of Assisi Parish. We're thankful to them. We're thankful to our contractors. We're thankful to all who have participated. And we wish God's blessings on you all. Thank you.